Hello everybody and welcome to another epic at home video. My name is Alistair if I haven't already met you yet and I'm excited to show you a couple of things that you're going to be able to do at home across this time. Uh, what you're going to be able to do is either just join in with what I'm doing and play along or if you're able to you're going to be able to create your own version of what you just saw me play putting some videos together, layering some different rhythms and some different instruments that you'll all be able to find at home. So. Uh, today we're going to get started, I'm going to show you three different parts that you can try and put together and it's going to look like what you just saw and then I'm also going to show you a couple of other things that you can add if you're able to which will add in a whole other dynamic, a little bit more complex, a little bit more complicated but really really cool as well. The cool thing about doing this at home is that by doing one rhythm at a time it means that you're going to be able to keep it simple and when you put it all together it's going to make it sound more complex than it actually is. So I'm going to teach you how to do it and then we're going to get into it straight away. Let's check it out. Cool, so our first rhythm and our first uh, texture, if you will, and instrument is going to be using something that makes a shaker sound. So I've got some Cuban seasoning here in a grinder, but you could create your own shaker by putting some rice in a container. If you have a, um, a paper towel tube that you could use, you could put some tape over one end, put some rice in it, Make sure it's not sticky so the rice doesn't all stick down the other side. Uh, and then put some something on the top as well. You can even uh, put some tin foil over the edges, tape that around, anything like that. There's a whole bunch of different ideas that you could try online. Either way, what you want is something that's going to make a shaking sound. Something like that. So our first sound is going to go like this. We're going to go one and two and three and four. So the fourth, on beat four, we're going to hit our shaker on our hand, get that sound. The rest of it is just all shaking back and forth. So it should sound like this. One and two and three and four. 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 Cool. That's our first rhythm. Let's check out our next instrument and rhythm as well. Okay, so for our next set of instruments, you need to be able to find three pots at home, ideally different sizes. Here I've got three. Uh, one's the low one, or the big one, which gives me a low pitch sound. Next one's a middle one, medium size, medium pitch. And then the last one, a high pitched one. So you try and arrange it from biggest to smallest. Now, if you've got drumsticks at home, you can use drumsticks, but if you don't have drumsticks, like me, I'm using my chopsticks. So you can use chopsticks. If you've got something else that might work, if you need to, you could go find some branches or some twigs outside that should work as well. Anything that's going to give you anything like that, any, any of that sort of sound. So our rhythm is going to go like this. With the, you're going to play it with the middle one. You're going to play one on the middle one, one on the big one, two on the high pitch one, and back to the uh, big one, one on the, on the big one. So it should sound like this. Why don't you practice that and then we'll jump into our third instrument. Okay, so for our third instrument, what you need to find is some sort of wheelie bin. Now, I've got a, a little one here that my daughter uses to keep all of her toys in. But if you don't have one of those lying around, you could just find a big rubbish bin and, or something like that. We'll use the lid with it. Or if you need to, go find your recycling bin at home. That's going to work as well. So you might need someone else to film you while you're doing it. Uh, or something like that, but you should be able to figure it out. So, the way we're going to do it, you're going to have your hand that's going to lift it and close it, and it's going to go like this. You're going to do one hit on top, lift, hit, hit, lift, hit. So, hand, lift, hit, hand, lift, hit, hand, lift, hit, hand, lift, hit. Cool, why don't you practice that one, then we're going to start to put it all together. All right, so hopefully you've practiced all of those three instruments and you're able to record them. Now, while you're doing recording, what you need to make sure is that you're counting how many times you're playing each rhythm to make sure that when you put them together, they're gonna line up. Uh, the other thing you need to do is figure out how you're gonna stay in time with the, with the different instruments that you're playing because you're gonna be playing them one at a time. So there's two ways that you can stay in time. One is that you can play along to some music. 
you have the music in the background or you could put the music in your in, in some headphones and listen to the headphones and then play on top of it the other way you could do it is you could play using a metronome now i'm going to put a metronome in the link of this video so that you can see where to find it uh, but the uh, but by playing with a metronome what it does is it keeps you in time it's simply something that's going tick tock 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 tick tock tock by playing along to that click, it means that you're going to keep all of your instruments in time so when you put the videos together, they all line up. Okay, fantastic. So hopefully that uh, makes sense and you'll be able to put all of your ideas together. That's the basic one, just doing three different rhythms on these different things. You can use my rhythms, you can do your own rhythms if you want to, uh, but the main thing is to make sure it stays in time, make sure you listen to a click or to some music, keep it in time and count the number of times you're doing each rhythm. Give it a go, have some fun, upload them, share them with us, on, uh, put it on your YouTube or share it with us directly to Facebook or send it to us. We want to collate them and send them out with um, how you're doing and what they look like, everything like that. If we can put a whole big group one together and, and uh, add it all in together, then we're going to try and do that as well. It's going to be loads and loads of fun. Give it a go at home. Now, uh, before I go, I'm going to show you a bunch of different other uh, instruments that I've been using at home to give you some ideas of what else you could do. And then I'm going to show you one piece that I've created with all nine instruments. So these are the different instruments you could use. Okay, so one of my favorites is this uh, colander and a wooden spoon. It gives you quite a cool noise if you hit the bottom part, almost like a trash cymbal or something like that on the drums. It's pretty cool. And then I'm also just hitting it with my finger. It's a little bit subtle, but it's pretty cool. You do something like this. That's one idea of what you could do. Put it in, it looks pretty cool. Another instrument you could use is a, uh, I've got a blocks bin, so anything like a cardboard box could work as well, or a little plastic container, or a, uh, a big clip um, bin, or something like that. Anything that's gonna give you a bit of a punchy, a uh, bit of a punchy noise. So you could put it under your arm, or you could put it on the ground in front of you, anything like that. Another cool instrument you could use is your classic grater. So I'm not going to use this side. I'm actually going to use this side. It sounds a little bit smoother. And I've just got a normal spoon. It's going to sound like this. Kind of similar to our shaker, but it's a little bit different and it adds a different texture. It's pretty cool stuff. You could also turn the spoon around. Make it a bit rougher as well. So different ideas there as well. All right, another one you could use is your classic dust pan and brush. It's gonna sound like this. Make sure, I'm doing it on uh, carpet, so it's not as loud. If you could do it on a harder surface, it's gonna give you a better sound on the table, on the cork, or on the vinyl, or tile, something like that. It's gonna make it sound better, but it should look like this. One more idea, here's another one. Cool, so your classic drink bottle is another idea that you could use. Simply squeezing it is going to give you a different sound. Especially if you can get one that squeaks, like my one. So make sure you don't turn it upside down because water will go everywhere. So just doing something. Something as simple as that could be pretty cool as well. Cool, so for your last idea, what you could do is something as simple as some kitchen tongs. So by doing this, it's just making a really clear snap sound, and I'm just going to do a one, two, and three, four, like a soca beat. So it goes like this, one, two, and three, four, one. So those are all the nine instruments that I've got, and when you put them all together, it should sound something like this.
hope you enjoyed that percussion piece. What I want to see is your ideas. What could you put together? What ideas could you bring together? What instruments could you do? What instruments could you use? Do your best to, to make it creative, to make it fun, and most importantly, make it epic. All right, well, I'll be catching you another, another time. Make sure you check us out on Facebook and make sure you join us for our Facebook Live videos as well. We'll see you soon. Have a good time. Thank <laughs> you.